A man set to be sentenced to prison refused to leave his jail cell to head to court today. Gilbert Torres took a plea deal for killing a man back in 2022. Yeah, he finally did make his way into the courtroom. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison today. But as Erica Hernandez reports, this was not the first time that Torres tried to avoid justice. For the family of 21-year-old Mario Alvarez, today's sentencing brings a long-awaited sense of closure. Alvarez was gunned down in August 2022, lured to a vehicle outside his home where Gilbert Torres, hidden in the backseat, fatally shot him. Weeks after the murder, both Torres and his accomplice, Stephanie Zaragoza, were arrested. According to court documents, Zaragoza admitted to driving the vehicle and calling Alvarez over to it. While Torres never gave police a reason for his actions, Zaragoza claimed she was angry with Alvarez, though the exact motive remains unclear. For the plea deal, Torres could be sentenced to a maximum of 30 years in prison. The state said Torres deserved the max and brought up how he violated bond by cutting off his GPS monitor and going on the run after accepting the plea deal back in December last year. It was not his right to take the life from that man under those circumstances as he did, and he is solely responsible for the gun that was fired that caused Mario's death. Per his plea, Torres was expected to testify against Zaragoza, but it didn't happen as he was on the run. But Torres said he fled because he got a message from a friend of Zaragoza. They had pretty much said that if I would have like testified against her, that she would kill me or find a way to and hurt my family. And I was just really scared. That was the main reason why I cut off my monitor. The judge ended up giving Torres that 30-year sentence, saying that he could have reached out for help or turned himself in. As for Stephanie Zaragoza, she was given a plea deal back in April and sentenced to 18 years in prison. Both are eligible for parole after serving half. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.